about the horrible angle of this camera, but I need to open up some mail. Oh, we got three tubs of trout bait. This is the corn flavored. This is my favorite flavor. This stuff works like magic. But more importantly, I got in this right here. So I got in this little 10 piece box of, basically they are rooster tails. All different colors, all different kinds. Let's open this up real quick. I'll show you a few of them. This one's pretty dope. Check that out. Has some weight to it too, that's pretty heavy. Like I said, every color, we got some in black. But today, I thought about this just now on the way here. I was just coming here to do some fishing, but uh, I figured we got this in the mail today. Let's go ahead and do a full slam. So that means I'm gonna try and catch a fish on every single lure today. Uh, which is kind of risky today because today it is like 25 mile per hour winds. It's pretty stupid to be fishing today, but I did not want to sit at the house and do nothing. So I came to Dalhart, which is an hour and 20 minute drive, but I came here because of this. So as you can see, the lake is surrounded by cliffs all the way around. The lake is kind of sucking into this hole. So I'm hoping that this will somewhat kill all the wind around me. I'm not sure if it will, but that is the plan for today. So let's grab some gear and we will go catch some trout, hopefully. All right, so 10 different lures, 10 different fish. We got the pond here. It looks like this corner right here has a less wind. The water's moving everywhere else but that corner, so we'll probably start down here. Two videos ago, I caught my very first trout on a rooster tail, so I'm not very experienced in using these, but uh, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. I think everyone starts out using these, except for me. I uh, never used these. The other day was the first time, but uh, I did fall in love with it so much that I went out and bought some more. I bought this 10 pack. I'm gonna set them all out on this bench and I kind of show y'all every single color and what we're working with here. All right, so here are all of the spoons ready to go. They are all 10 lures we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using them in no particular order, but first one of today is going to be this one. I don't know how trout do in the wind, so that might be a big factor today. I just tied on a swivel so I don't get no line twist, and now we're throwing on the first lure of the day. Let's see what we can do with that. Hopefully we don't get stuck on anything because that would suck to lose one before we finish the old 10 fish challenge here. My spoon ain't really spinning. That's not good. I wonder what that's about. You good spoon? It's so big. It's almost hitting the treble hooks. Oh well. Let's cast her out there and see what we can do. First real cast. <laughs> I just did a little half cast there. I'm using the Okuma ITX 3000H today. It's been doing me good lately, so. Oh, this wind is horrible. I have my mic in my shirt. Hopefully it's not picking up any wind noise, but it sucks. This is my first Grand Slam challenge too. I've never done nothing like this, but I got that box in. I figured why not? Let's challenge ourselves today. It may be a challenge, man. No bites yet. We could throw out some dough bait and see if the trout are even biting today. I got this kit off Amazon. I think it was like nine bucks or so. Pretty cheap for 10, 10 little uh, spoons. But will they work? That's what we're figuring out today. All right, I'm gonna try a different spoon. The all chrome is not getting any bites. Justin said that gold works way better for him, so we'll try this one. Hopefully we can get that spoon to spin on this one. It's heavier, I can cast farther. First cast? 
Ah, yeah, this spoon spins great. Okay, first cast got a bite. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can get on some fish with this one. This one's definitely way flashier. Yes, fish on, baby. All right, that was like third cast with this gold one. Heck yes, about time. Yes, okay. That one was a lot easier than the silver one. The silver one I fished for like 15 minutes, maybe got two bites. This one was three casts. There it is, baby, first one. Oh, the fish is cold. There, thank you, buddy. All right. Dude, that thing is so green. That thing was bright. Okay, all right. First one down. Nine to go. Like I said, this gold one was so much quicker than the silver one. But I've also noticed that this gold one, the spoon actually spun. On the silver one, it wouldn't spin for some reason. Number one done. What color is this? Silver with some yellow. We'll try it. Second spoon going out. The timer is starting on this next lure. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, let's uh, make our way to that side. We caught one over here. I'll probably make like a hundred laps around this pond by the end of today. Hey, there's the second one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Calm down, brother. Calm down. Caught that one on that guy. Let's get him back in there. There he goes. Yes, okay. All right. Number two down. Eight to go. I guess we'll try knocking out this one. This doesn't really have color, but let's try it. So that one took about probably five or six minutes of fishing. Number three. Oh, this one does not cast very far. It's not as heavy, but I caught that trout right here close to shore so I would like for one of these to be first cast that'd be sick the second one well the first fish was third cast can we get a first cast though that's a question yes haha <laughs> I was a little worried about this one but that one took it quick probably fourth or fifth cast Chill, man. Chill, chill, chill. Yes. Ow, got my finger. Number three. It's going smooth now. Once I came over here. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it now. Like I said, I've only ever caught two fish in my entire life on these rooster tail style lures. So uh, we just caught three here today that makes five. Oh baby we're, we're making progress we are we might actually do it today uh you know what let's see the first one that I couldn't catch nothing on let's go back to that in this spot this might will give me all the confidence I need but I do not want to lose order of where I'm at so let's throw this one over there that tells me that I'm on number four. If we could catch one quick on this one, I'd be happy. I'm really worried about this one. This was the one that doesn't really spin. No, no, I just broke off. It'll give me all the confidence I need. Oh my God, dang it. That sucks. We just lost one of the freaking spoons. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, you know what we can do? I'm gonna throw 
one of the other spoons I have dang it it hit my finger the line did or something and it broke off I do have more spoons we can replace it let's try this blue one I got this other blue one the other day at Walmart so what we're gonna do is replace that one we just lost with this blue one all right is that fair I hate that it wasn't broken off on a fish or like stuck it broke off on a cast just an everyday normal cast <sighs> let's get back to the challenge small hiccup I just gotta be careful with how I cast I like casted it and my finger stayed there or something and it, it snapped off on my finger which sucks but let's get over it and let's move on what are we on this is number four I think yeah four I'm so cautious now every time I cast I don't want to lose another one for the challenge sake Oh, we're out there at the bank. Heck yeah. I'll, oh, I gotta touch it. I gotta touch it. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. It fell off right at shore. <laughs> I tried to touch it, but that guy was fast. <laughs> Dang it. That does not count. Oh, man. They've all been pretty close to shore right here. So I'm going to slow down a lot right there before I bring it all the way in. Oh, <laughs> we almost had number four. That trout said, nope, you're not touching me. Not today. Yes. Oh my God, not again. Not, oh my God. Again. What is going on? Is it you? Are you the problem? <laughs> it's catching fish though. <laughs> okay. I may have to keep it in the water and maybe it won't try to come off. All right, I'm changing out the lure. This one is not getting bites no more after like 20 minutes. Which sucks because we just got two back to back right off the bat and then nothing for 20 minutes. So we'll come back to it later. Let's go with this orange one. It's bright. I like it. Let's go for it. And it's gold somewhat. Let's make it quick. We're losing daylight over here. I think I've outfished this spot right here. I need to move on. I may go try by the dock again. Yes. Please don't get off, please don't get off. We touched it it counts all right I was kind of worried that this guy was too big but we got a, a trout on it and a pretty small one too so all right there is number four on this guy right there the orange one see you buddy all right let's go with this yellow one yellow and purple Almost halfway there. It's on. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Are you freaking? I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Well, <laughs> caught a fish in about five minutes on the fifth lure and we lost it. I didn't touch it, so it didn't count. Dang it. Oh my God. Amateur hour. There's three fish we lost so far. I should have left it in the water. Should have, would have, could have. Oh well, let's get over it. We'll catch some more. It's not looking good for our challenge, guys. We're not even halfway through yet. We're almost there. One away from being halfway done. We got black. Oh, God. I should probably use that now while the sun's up. 
All right, the last cast with this color for now. And then we're switching colors. I'd rather put it up because we're done with it than put it up because it's not getting vibes. This one's coming off. We did catch one fish on it, but we didn't land it. So we're gonna have to come back to that one. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this big boy right here. This is the biggest and the heaviest one in the box, but it's mostly gold. So hopefully we can get a fish on soon and move on. This is probably the coolest one too. I like this one. How's the action on this one? Horrible. It's just so heavy. I may have to bounce that one and jig it off the bottom. No. And we're stuck. Dang it. Oh, we got it, we got it. Sweet, okay. This one's heavy. I may have to go to the dock and bounce it off the bottom. It's so, this lure sucks. This one looks cool, but the action is horrible. It's too heavy. If it was lighter, it might get some good action, but just the way it sits in the water, it's weird. Not natural at all. Yes. I thought the black one was going to be the hardest, but got that in three casts. Oh, it got off. Dang it. Oh, man. All right, so I decided to call it quits but I caught fish on these four here. As you can see, there is a pattern. They all have these gold pieces on them. That has a gold spoon. But I also caught a fish on this one, that one, and this one as well. I just did not land a fish. But uh, this, this challenge was looking pretty promising at the beginning. I caught these four pretty quick, but the last two hours, it sucked, man. I only got one bite on this one and no other bites at all. So I decided to call it quits, but this was a pretty fun little challenge. I will probably try this again at my local lake. 